Katanians, October is here, which means it's time to fall on into this edition of the Katan Console Edition Roadmap. And as it's October, it's a spooky edition. If you've ever missed a roadmap, you can check them all out on our website, uh, www.katanconsoleedition.com. Don't know why I included the www. Everyone knows that. If you are new around here, the purpose of the roadmap is to keep you all up to date and informed and to discuss all things the future of the game. The roadmap is broken up into sections. We have next turn, which is content that we are expecting to release in the next three months. And we have on the horizon, which is content that we're actively developing and will likely come between three to six months from now. As always, everything that we are about to discuss is subject to change. Some things may end up coming sooner, some things may end up coming later. This should be a fun one. As I said, it's the spookiest month of all. So let's roll on into it. Next turn. Let's kick off next turn with Reap and Sow, the full content pack. The first of the seasonal content packs arrives to Catan Console Edition in the form of Reap and Sow on October 17th. The Reap and Sow full content pack is in-game right now if you are a Season Pass owner. If you don't own the Season Pass, you can either purchase the Season Pass and you'll get access to it immediately, as well as the Helpers add-on, plus a whole load more content coming in the future. Or you can purchase the Reap and Sow add-on separately on October 17th. To access the Reap and Sow content from the game's main menu, navigate to Library, and in there you'll see that there is the full content pack. When you navigate to that menu, you'll see you have the option to toggle the pack on or off. When you toggle it on, you'll see the changes immediately, including all sorts of new fun stuff from uh, pumpkins to scarecrows and just goodie bags worth of all kinds of ghoulish content. So as well as the board having a Halloween inspired overhaul, there's lots of other content to discover, including new characters, dice, hex frames, and an all new soundtrack. Let's take a little look at what to expect from the Reap and Sow full content pack. And a quick reminder as to what's actually included in the Season Pass, you'll get instant access to our first add-on, which is the Helpers, Reap and Sow, the full content pack, and then in the future, we'll be looking at Ice and Snow, which is our winter content pack, Cities and Nights, our first big add-on, and Bloom and Grow, which is our spring content pack. For the next point on our next turn agenda, let's talk about Nintendo Switch. If somehow you've missed it, yes indeed, Catan Console Edition is coming to Nintendo Switch in the form of Catan Console Edition Super Deluxe, which will be available from November 9th, and you'll be able to pre-order from November 2nd, so a week before. During that pre-order window, you'll also be entitled to a 10% discount for pre-ordering. All right, so the Super Deluxe Edition coming to Nintendo Switch includes not only the base game of Catan, but it also comes with the helpers add-on plus five championship maps. One thing to note is that the content packs, so Reap and Sow, Ice and Snow, and Bloom and Grow are not coming to Nintendo Switch. We can't wait to welcome all of our new Nintendo Switch owning Catanians to our lovely island on November 9th. So be sure to keep an eye out on our social channels for all things Catan Console Edition, Super Deluxe on Nintendo Switch. To wrap up a very busy next turn and 2023, we need to spend a little bit of time talking about Ice and Snow, the winter content pack. We haven't announced a release date for Ice and Snow yet, but we will be in due course. So keep an eye out on our socials, join our Discord, check out our forums, wherever you like to get your information, it will be there. You can expect a similar level of attention to detail that's in the Reap and Sow pack. So we've got Snow, we've got Whales, we've got Santa, we've got Presents. We don't want to spoil it or anything, but we figured we'd give you a little bit of a teaser of what's to come in the Ice and Snow Winter Content Pack. Let's check it out. 
Before we wrap up next turn, let's take a minute to talk about quality of life improvements and game updates. You'll have noticed over the last few weeks we've released a couple of updates. The primary focus of these updates has been to resolve an issue causing the robber to start in the wrong hex tile. We also believe that the robber starting in the wrong tile location had various other knock-on issues that we believe have now also been resolved. If you are experiencing issues with Catan Console Edition, you can directly report issues to us by visiting dovetailgames.freshdesk.com. In terms of what we're focusing on right now, the team is looking into various areas of improvement, including many of which that have been submitted to us directly via you, our resident Catanians. We'll always provide details of upcoming updates via patch notes that you can find on our website, guitarconsoleedition.com, our forums, Discord, or social. On the Horizon. On the Horizon is content that we are actively developing and will likely come between three and six months from now. Cities and Knights. Development of Cities and Knights is going very well. Cities and Knights is a well-known and loved add-on for Catan and we can't wait to bring it to Catan Console Edition. It provides a drastically new way to experience the game. It introduces various new mechanics and rules and is a really big job for the development team here to bring to the game. And we can't wait for you to get your hands on it next year. Bloom and Grow, the spring content pack. In the new year, while we're still trying to get used to writing 2024 instead of 2023, our third and final content pack will be released in the form of Bloom and Grow. We don't have anything to show you right now, but we will be providing you lots more information as we get closer to release in the new year. 5 to 6 player extension. The 5 to 6 player expansion remains in the On the Horizon section of the roadmap for now. The team has been working really hard and focusing on bringing lots of exciting new content with helpers, season pass content and cities and nights. This has meant that there has been less time for the team to focus their efforts on this extension. We don't have an update for you right now in terms of when exactly this will be available for you all, but it is something that we are still very much actively working on and we look forward to bringing to you uh, as soon as we're able. The five to six player extension will be compatible with the base game of Catan and the helpers add-on. And that's a wrap folks for the spookiest of all the roadmaps to date. We hope you are as excited about the future of Catan Console Edition as we are. If you haven't already, please do go drop us a follow on our social channels at DTG Board Games so you can stay up to date on all the latest developments and everything that's coming to the game. For now though, see you down the road Catanians. <laughs> <laughs>